Calculate elevation and grade with the builder's level. First, you'll want to get your level set up. That process has already been described in a previous video. The level is not set up over any particular object or point, but it is set up roughly halfway between your known elevation, also called the benchmark, and the points you want to calculate. Once you've really practiced, level setup can take as little as 20 seconds from start to finish. We'll start by taking our first observation at our benchmark, which has a known elevation of 1304.261 feet. Using a level rod which measures up from the ground, we'll take a reading through the level's telescope. In this example, our reading is 5.223 feet. The readings coming up off a known elevation are always called a backsight, and we always add the backsight to the known elevation of the point we are sighting to get the calculated elevation at the level. It's the same math for either a single wire reading or an averaged three wire reading. Those techniques are also described in other videos on this channel. Okay, so zero as the average elevation at sea level, plus 1304.261 feet to this particular benchmark, plus 5.223 feet up to the elevation of the level at the level line, which we calculate to be 1309.484. So theoretically, anywhere we point this level and the level line crosses a surface, the elevation at that line is also 1309.484. Let's take the first observation and see how that number works into our future calculations. All right, the rod person is setting up on a point along the top back of curb, which we need to observe to calculate its as-built elevation. We are not going to move the level after this observation. The level will stay in the same spot as we take multiple observations. When we are planning to take multiple observations from one spot before moving, as in this exercise, those observations are called side shots. Some note-taking formats even have a column just for side shots so that they are not confused with other math from your level work. All right, our first side shot reading is 6.377 feet. To calculate the elevation at this point, we simply subtract from the elevation at our level line of 1309.484 down along the rod 6.377 feet to where it meets the curb, giving us an as-built elevation at the curb of 1303.107 feet. Next, the rod person will move to our second side shot observation. But notice that the level hasn't moved, so it makes sense that we'll be doing math using the same elevation line of 1309.484. The rod reading at the second point is 6.128 feet. The math is the same process as last time. Elevation at the level line of 1309.484 minus the rod reading of 6.128 feet for a new elevation at this spot on the curb of 1303.356 feet. Let's do a third point to make sure we've got it. The rod reading at this point is 6.402. If we subtract that from our level line, we get 1303.082 as our final as-built elevation. Great, we've taken a series of side shots. Now we need to close out our work by checking into a different known elevation. That's right, we can't just accept our results as verified and we can't close back to the benchmark from where we started. If our level setup was bad, for instance, if we had set it up out of level, then our first observation at the benchmark would have been incorrect. But if we checked back into the same point, we would get the same result, which really wouldn't count as a verification. In fact, in this case, it would be wrong. So we need to check into a second benchmark that was not yet a part of this work. If that math checks out, we know that our current setup was acceptable and that our side shot work was good. Pro tip moment. Whenever you encounter survey points and monuments in the field that are poorly highlighted, apply new flagging, add a new lath, or apply fresh paint around it, whatever will help the next surveyor or trade partner in the future locate the point more quickly and will help it from getting run over or destroyed. 